The clear can be a high defensive shot to push your opponent to the back and give you time. It can be a flat attacking shot to get the shuttle behind your opponent. The clear is played from your own rear court to the rear court of your opponent. singles players must have superb control of the depth and trajectory of the clear. This comes through with practice, practice and even more practice. Start with the split step, time to land just after your opponent's hit. Turn and approach the rear court, establishing a sideways stance. Begin to elevate the front arm, take the racket back with the racket face downwards using a relaxed forehand grip. Create a position with the shoulder and elbows in a line, looking over the front arm. The rear foot is placed well back, parallel to the back line and the rear leg is loaded. Drive the hip upwards and forwards, making contact with the shuttle above the racket shoulder, tightening your grip as you do so. Also notice the pulling in of the front arm to control the rotation of the body. Land with a wide stance and the rear foot turned out, back foot, then front foot in quick succession. Supination and pronation of the forearm is vital for efficient hitting in badminton. This yellow line indicates supination. And this yellow line represents pronation. All forehand overheads, including the clear, involve supination of the forearm on the back swing and pronation of the forearm on the forward swing. A good length in, in a singles game is the hardest thing to do. If, if you master a good length in a singles court, I think you pretty much be, you can compete with the best in the world. Because I think you're moving the opponent the, the extra step. Uh, the shorter you hit it, the, the shorter they, they move and it, the l less energy they're using. So the, the, the better your length is, the more they're moving and you obviously can see the energy and everything. So definitely a yeah, better length. 